What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Forge for all versions of Minecraft 1.6 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is open up Terminal, and the first code you want to type in is ch flags no hidden squiggly slash library slash and this should be the only terminal code you have to you have to enter in and this brings back the library folder in your user folder on your Mac now let's go to a web browser of choice and this is the URL you have to go to a link to this will be in the description below and of course a copy of the terminal code I just entered will be in the description below as well files.minecraftforge.net now right here where it says select your Minecraft version click the drop down menu and for the, in this case I will select 1.6.2 and I will head down to recommended 1.6.2 and I will click this right here which says installer so let me click that it's gonna take me to an AdFly website it's gonna bring me it's gonna give me a couple of warnings and then this should go away so five, four three two one and then we click skip ad and then it downloads alright so just just exit out of this window and open up too many items. A link to this will be in the description as well. This is the mod we will be using as an example because it works with Forge, as you can see. So just minimize that. Now let's open up our .jar we just downloaded, which is minecraftforge.jar. And now let's head down to our Minecraft launcher. And the first thing you want to do is you want to, of course, download a brand new version of 1.6.2. So head to Finder, go to Library, Application Support, Minecraft, Versions, and delete all the versions that you have. And then you want to just quit out of the launcher here. Now let's head back into the launcher. We should have default selected, and it says it will be installed. And install it usually installs fairly quick, so we will see exactly how long. Yep, as you can see, it's already done. That was fast and um, quit out of Minecraft and quit out of the launcher. Now that you have a copy of 1.6.2 installed, open up your .jar installer for Forge. Then right here where it says install client, click OK. Make sure that your file path goes directly to your Minecraft folder in application support. So click OK. Now as you can see it, it successfully installed the client, the client profile Forge. So now let's reopen our Minecraft launcher. And for our profile, a new one appears called Forge. Select that. For your username, put in your username and password. And then click play. And as you can see, Minecraft launches. Here it is. And the way that you can tell Forge is working is that these mods right here are displayed. So let and as you can see there's a mods folder right here which is really cool. Now I will dive now I will dive into that mods folder really quick. So let's quit out of Minecraft and quit and quit out of the launcher. And as you can see, a mods folder has appeared right here. Now go back to your browser window where it says too many items because this is just our example. And as you can see there is a copy right here that says 1.6.2 plus Forge. Click on that course it will take us to another ad fly four three two one and now let's click skip ad and we should have a dot zip a dot zip no a too many items forge dot jar so then you want to open this we want to put this in the mods folder and now let's open up minecraft let's get that out of the way and now let's see if we can click play let's click play and see if too many items installed alright as you can see the mojang window has opened up And as you can see, if we go to our mods folder, too many items has been installed. 
Now, for further proof that this works, let's go into one of our worlds that we have here. And let's click our inventory. And as you can see, too many items is here. So there you go. That's how to install mods on Forge. And this is how to install Forge for all versions of Minecraft 1.6 on your Mac. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will happily, happily, happily answer it. And if you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more gaming, tech tutorials, and reviews, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Remember, if I can do this, you can do this. Do not say that it does not work. I just got it to work right here on screen. So if you somehow happen to mess up, rewatch the video and try again. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, signing off.